Hey guys, how are we going today? So, who are we going to talk about? Today we're going to talk about an old friend of mine from Adelaide, South Australia. His name is better known as Master or Sensei, Vince Palumbo. And um, he, he, he's almost, almost like an old uh, half-brother, you could say. He's, uh, he, he actually was a very good friend of my, my old man who passed away a couple of years ago. And uh, in our youth, we, we had a pretty good friendship going. And let me tell you a bit about Vince. He's, um, and why he, he inspired me in a lot of ways. Uh, he probably doesn't even remember this stuff, but let me, I'll, I'll remind him if he watches this video. So, there was a period in my life, and it was in the 80s, that I was doing a bit of soul searching, right? And he was putting up together, he was formulating his own path. And uh, I remember one thing, you know, and before I get to what he actually said to me, let me tell you a bit of stats about him. If you ever go on his website, he was a direct student of the late Master Kakwa Kanyeti of the Dorje Pirate system. Right? Now, I can tell you in first person that what I'm about to tell you is not bullshit. I actually saw videos in the VHS in the 90s, I think the late 80s, might be. I mean, this guy used to do, you know, dog brother stuff, but he was the real deal, right? He was, um, he used to do full contact stuff uh, with stick fighting, even without, even without protection, right? I mean, I never, at that time, I'd never seen anything like it. It was shocking to me, and I thought, what the fuck is he doing, you know? It's like, I'd never seen anyone give punishment or take punishment like, like him. It, it was really impressive and um, you go check the stats he was at the time the first person I mean the guy's not that tall right he's, he's shorter than me but fuck he's tough as nails he's as tough as nails right and he was the first person to win the, the, the Australian tough man competition not bullshitting you tough man competition like anyone can join you know bikies you know all the toughest people, bouncers, anyone could join. And I think the first one they did at Ayers Rock, uh, which is now closed to the public, I believe. But, you know, he did it at Ayers Rock, and he fucking won it. He trained like an animal, and he won that competition. To give you an idea of how tough the guy is. And the guy's, like, won more world titles uh, at a world level, you know, than, 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 than I can count. I've been to his gym and uh, he even created his own unique fighting system which is called, I hope I'm not saying it wrong, it's Aju, Aju, Kampu, Aju Kampu, I think it's called. And it's a combination of various systems. He's profoundly deep rooted from karate and then from karate he, he, he went into uh, ground fighting which was Jiu Jitsu I believe. Uh, years and years and years of stick fighting and uh, he deeply loved his master Kako Kanyeti and uh, he's a grandmaster in that system you know and I remember him teaching me the basis of that system you know and it's like once he took me the basics he says right these are the basic angles of all this do this and you're a stick fighter you know <laughs> so, like, he really cracked me up but what inspired me about Vince was, you know, one day he said to me, you know what, you know what's unique about me? I said, what's that Vince? He goes, I'm real. And, you know, I'm young at the time and uh, it didn't really make sense. I know, well, what do you mean by that? He goes, I'm real and everyone knows I'm real. I can back up everything I say, you know? And, and I thought, wow. I thought, wow. And, you know, you got to understand I'm young then. And, uh, you know, we used to spar. And it's like, I could stand up to him at the time. You know? I'm not trying to say I'm better than him or anything like that. But, you know, and he used to try and inspire me, right? He used to try and inspire me to be good at what I was, to create my own way and stuff like that. And just the fact that he said, I'm real, 
and I'm I'll stand up to you know whatever and I'm and I'm uh, I'm willing to back up what I say man that hit me like a ton of bricks you know it's like it, it was the fire that I needed to sort of like find my own way and I never never forgot those words you know what I mean so I gotta give him thanks for that you know he, you know, after all these years, I, I never told him, so I'm telling it to him now on this video, so I don't know if you'll see this video, he might, he might not, but uh, that was a big, you know, marker in my life, that, uh, from an old friend of mine, I think he's about my age, I think he's about my age, anyway, old Vince, you can check out his, his, um, his website uh, just just look on um, on Google Vince Palumbo uh, I'm sure you can see him on YouTube and uh, look there's nothing that I haven't said that he doesn't say about himself <laughs> he knows he's good <laughs> he's uh, and he's, he's like I I'm very similar to him in the sense he pushes his students to the limits. I push my students to the limits. And uh, I like to make my guys, you know, fighters. Even though, you know, I don't push my guys in competitions, you know, I push them for, to get them good in security work, to get them good in, uh, on the street, get them, you know, get them ready. Get them ready for battle. And uh, so, in that sense there, you know, he really, he was good. He was, he was a good inspiration in that sense. So go check out Vince Palumbo, Adelaide. Now he used to have his gym on Grange Road, and you know it's like late eighties, early nineties. He used to have about 150, 160 people packing up his gym, and that was really cool. Um, like I said, his system was called Ajucampo, and it had. And it was like, you know, already the initiation of when there was the boom of the UFC and MMA, he would have people coming in from uh, all around the world to do seminars. I remember he was probably the first to have the Gracies coming in to do seminars and stuff like that at his gym in Adelaide. So, you know, hats off to him. So there you go. If I have any links or if you guys want to share links in the comments below, please do so. Okay guys, take care. See you in the next video.